in this screen recording I am going to explain to you how to complete the task which requires you to program your robot to move straight then turn right into a dark room and then to program the light sensor to detect the change in the environment and finally in response to that change the robot should initiate the LED light dance. So this is combining a few different features you've programmed previously. So we'll begin the program by using this part of the program. So you'll go to robots and you will use your MBOT initiation button. So we go to MBOT program we select wait until which comes here and then we're going to use onboard button pressed so this it may be a new feature to you all this means is that when we download the program directly onto our robot using Arduino it means the program will not immediately begin instead our robot will wait patiently until we press the little black onboard button at the front which will initiate the program then we want forever and this is the next part of the program so at this stage we are going to program the light sensor which you may recognize you may know this from a previous lesson so forever if light sensor onboard greater than 600 then play tone. We're not using exactly that program because we're adapting it to meet our bigger program but it will help to look at this. So we go to if and just so you can see we are also going to combine this program with a couple of others as well. So. We may use an if else operator here, and then we will use an operator like over here. And rather than having, as you see in the old program, we had greater than a certain lightness, we are going to get the program to play or initiate the dance when it's quite dark. So in that case, we need less than, and let's say light sensor on board less than 400. Where's our light sensor button? We have light sensor on board less than 400, then, and then we will get it, rather than playing a tone, we're going to get it to initiate our robot dance. So we can construct this control repeat twice and you'll remember this from the previous lesson set LED times 2 and run forward and then wait one second and then well, this basic structure is going to be used a few more times in the LED dance, so we'll duplicate it a couple of times. Okay, and then nest it inside there. And you can see the numbers for the LED dance. First we do left, then we do right in each case, so we'll go ahead and do that. And red should be 255 for the first show of the lights and green should be 255 and then we'll run forward at speed 100 and then it should be 000, zero, zero for the second show then 255 150 for green and 150 for blue And down here, 255 and 255. 
and then 255, 255, and 60 finally. So that completes the dance, and if we nest it in the right spot, the dance will only initiate under a certain level of darkness. And then we want to combine this dance with some movement. So you can actually have a look at the final bit here. This is how we should move. So in short, our program will go forward, then it will turn right, then it will go forward, and then it will continue moving forward until it, the light sensor detects less than 400. So we can go here, run forward, wait, we can duplicate this, and duplicate it again because we're using the same structure. Run forward at speed 255, so quite quickly for four seconds. This is just an example for the situation you saw in the introduction video. However, if your robot is entering a different area or needs to enter in a different way, you should change this accordingly, of course. At speed 255, and 0 0.35 is just about the right sort of turn, but, but you may need a trial and error it if it doesn't work for you. And change, oh, and of course it should turn right. Just one final feature you might want to add to your program is just to add a sound at each stage when your robot changes the combination of LED lights which it is showing it would be nice if you could add a sound feature if you want to do that you can scroll down on the robots menu and you can find play tone and it would be a nice addition just to add a variety of different tones like so And rather than just keeping the same one, it would be nice to use a combination of different beats. Of course, if you are musically minded, you may wish to combine them in such a way that they play a tune. And with that, you're right to download your program. Just remember to use Connect and when your robot's connected you should have a second option here and the other thing remember to open up Arduino mode to download it onto your Arduino memory so you need to click upload to Arduino when you're done